Hi everyone. It's a great pleasure to be here with you in Abu Dhabi for this Phantom DC, and especially for the FTM token holder that I am. Um, I am Jeremy Le Petit. I am the co-founder and CEO of Retrib. So, Retrib is a fintech company registered to Geneva in Switzerland, you know, and we are developing the future of ethical mainstream payment. And of course, we build it on Phantom. So, a little part of you may have already heard about Retrib, and a big part never until now. Okay. But for all of us interested in blockchain, we are totally aware about the financial mechanisms that are destroying our society and our planet. Each of us, we are aware that finance has become an inefficient tool to serve the economy, but an extremely powerful tool to serve itself right now. You know, it's like in the Terminator dystopia, when the machines has took the power over the humans. Right now, finance has taken over economy, people, and the planet. So, crisis after crisis, the financial system is leading us towards the chaos. Um, you know, all over the world, the central banks are printing money, more and more money. They do this to avoid the collapse of this greedy industry. Bro, time is coming to take a new look on finance, to make it more ethical, and finally to put it back at the service of economy and the people. But you know, to be honest, it's easy to blame the banks. But I would like to remind you that these financial institutions were designed to make as much profit as possible without any consideration for social or environmental issues. The real question is, what are we doing as consumers of this finance? What is our fucking role? At Ritrib, for example, we believe that solves the equation we need both. More responsible consumer and more ethical finance solutions. But let's start at the beginning. The origin of our relationships with this industry is a payment. It doesn't matter if you are poor or rich. Payment is a daily act at the center of economic exchanges. But you know, in fact, we are living in a fully paradoxical period. Look at this apple. I want to buy it organic, and I want my retailer pay the fair price to the producer. Indeed, that is a responsible purchase, you know. But the irony is, I get paid for it with the same means of payment as 40 years ago. And for each transaction, each digital transaction, three players take profit systematically. The merchant bank, my bank, and the networks. Three players at the top of asymmetry between impact on the world and responsibility. Let me explain. For each digital transaction, there is interbank fees. These fees depend on the network and the bank, and the range is between 1.5% and 5%. PayPal, for example, it's 3.75%. Guys, we are talking about 1,093 billion digital transactions in the world around 2023. It's a huge market. And all players 
old and new want a piece of this cake, but no one of them is ready to change the recipe of this cake. That's why we created Retrieve. We want to change the financial paradigm. We want to change the recipe. To do this, we rely on two pillars. The first one is the tokenization of transactions thanks to Phantom. The second is the low cost of the bank transfer. Actually, a bank transfer costs a few cents, like a Phantom gas, you know? When you combine these two factors, you can take the lead on the commission because you take the lead on the transaction. With Retrieve, we re-intermediate the payment to make it more ethical, more responsible, and more solidary. Why ethic? Because we bring transparency where there is opacity and decentralization where there is centralization. OK. Why responsible? Because we integrate the CSR, Corporate Social Responsibility, you know, directly inside the business model. And you know, the quintessence of CSR is a CSR at the root of the profit. Now, why solidary? Because we place the value of sharing at the earth of the business model. So, what is this business model? If we take the lead on the transaction, you can apply our own commission to the merchant. And with this commission, we make the unilateral choice to give one third of it, one third of it, to the financing of social and environmental projects. Let me explain. For every transaction, Retrib applies 1.5% fees. 1% for us, 0.5% for the project. It's clear. These fees mainly cover the phantom gas, and they are supported only by the merchant, only by the merchant, never by the consumer. That being said, the consumer play an active role in our business model because they get to choose the project directly in their wallet. They want to support, and it's Retrib that will finance it. To make it possible, we need to tokenize the transaction. In fact, we are creating a multi-local stablecoin network on Phantom, the Stable Tribes. A Stable Tribes is 100% backed by the local currency of the consumer. What that means? That means in Paris there is a Stable Trib which is worth one euro. In Geneva, one stable trip for one Swiss franc. In Abu Dhabi, one stable trip for one dirham. In London, one stable trip for one pound. That means there are no effort of conversion for the consumer in his daily purchases. You know, it's a key point to build the mainstream solutions. On the flow side, there is a total balance between the stable trip in circulation, and the fiat cash in reserve. So, the stable trip is a circulating asset for each transaction, and the cash circulates by 72 hours block by bank transfer from the retrieve account to the merchant account. You know, our protocol works like a light chain but above a bank transfer protocol, like SWIFT or SEPA, you know. At each deposit, the stable trip is minted. At each withdrawal, the stable trip is burned. OK. But Retrib is also 
a one-way payment network from the consumer to the merchant. In fact, we control the transaction. And you know, it's the best way to comply with the regulators. We identify the consumer in KYC, and we identify the retailer in KYB. Finari Retrib is a secure network on the nature of the transaction. But it's also a secure network technically, because we have decided to make the dark chain of Phantom our processor. It was a strategic technical choice for the security of the network, for its velocity, for its scalability, of course, for the low gas fee, but also because the DAC chain is a sustainable technology. No mining, low energy needs, and no mountains of electronic waste, you know? This strategy allows us to stay focused on developing our payment solution. After a few prototypes, our wallets are currently in development. There is a consumer wallet for you, me, and Harry Ye, you know. And there is a business's wallet for the merchant. So, I can disclose for you the first mock-up to give you an idea. Our goal is to focus on the user experience to provide a simple, practical, easy to use, and efficient solutions for the consumer. I want my mother can try and use it. Now, let me present a sneak peek of the business's wallet that will concern the mobile and small businesses. Of course, for the e-shop, we'll have a PrestaShop, Shopify, and WordPress plugin, you know? And for the major player, we'll have a, an integration directly in their cashier software. But you know, Retrib is also an ecosystem with two assets, the stable trip and the utility trip. As I told you, the stable trip is a payment asset, and the utility trip is a governance token, you know? The stable trip has a variable supply and fixed value, and the utility trip has a variable value and fixed supply, you know? Actually, the utility trip is listed on SpookySwap, on Probit Exchange, and uh, we launch it to decentralize the selection process of the CSR project. You know, um, the token holders have many advantages in a retrieve ecosystem. First of all, they can get a biometric card and free exchange fee inside the service. But in addition, and it's probably the most important thing, they can also stake that token in delegation on our CSR launchpad. Finally, by stacking the token, they get to vote for some project. And they get earned rewards in stable trim by doing so. And the project selected will be proposed directly in the consumer wallet to finance directly by Retrib at each digital transaction, you know? Okay, you know, I, I don't believe technology will solve everything, but intentions will. And together, we are building the new world with a new infrastructure. And blockchain is its main tool, you know? But don't forget that. Blockchain is just a tool. And the tool is always at the service of an intention. By making this tool seamless, 
we will make blockchain mainstream. À très très. We want to drive this intention forward by providing a solution which is secure, decentralized, transparent, user-centric, easy to use, and of course, sustainable. You know, this is not bullshit. These are perfect arguments to build trust and the future of payment. Thank you. If you have any question, keep in touch in backstage. <laughs> Thank you. Did you have a question for Jeremy? Did you want to ask something? Yeah, yeah, go on. Can we have the microphone over there, please? Thank you. Hi. So, firstly, I really love the slideshow. Like, this was the most. Uh, most involving slideshow I've seen in this conference as of yet. I love the Terminator clip as well. <laughs> so my question is uh, just an idea of uh, when for staking for Dream is going live. Like I have many investors asking me the same thing. So for the staking? Yeah, single staking Dream. Okay, we'll launch in few days our own staking program. Yeah. I love it. So yeah. this month is Yeah, confirmed. I can't disclose anymore, but we're launching a few days our own stocking program, yeah.